What's up guys, it's Step Creations here, bringing you a trade for guide for the game, The Unfinished Swan. This time we're doing Page Turner, which is to re reveal every story page in the game. Now there's 19 story pages in the game, and let's start with Chapter 1. So in the Statue Garden there is one page, and this one you cannot miss, it's right in front of you. Uh, when, as you can see here, you normally have to break through that wall and go through it to uh, end this part of the chapter. But instead, just look straight forward. And you can't miss it. There's a big T and on a white wall. So the next one is in the watchtower. Again, there's only one in this part. And this is gonna be just after you exit the first room, which is through which would have been through that door. Uh, you're gonna come through here, and again you can't miss this, it's on the wall in front of you. Just uh, before you go up the second set of stairs. Moving on to the first castle, just as you enter the um, the maze, you want to take the second right, and you're going to see the goose, uh, not the goose, the swan feet on the floor, and the story page in front of you. And the second one in the first castle is right near the end of the chapter. Uh, you're going to go up the stairs, there's the balloon that you have to jump into, but if you turn right when you get to the top of the stairs, there is the page above the bench. Again, pretty easy to spot this one. So moving on to chapter 2, first one is in the Empire City, there are two pages here and the first one is as you climb, go across this bridge, uh, you're going to want to turn around and it's right Sometimes there on the wall. The so that's one of the ones you could miss. Uh, the next one you can't miss, you'll be going through the sewer system and you know it stands out really easily, it's a, a bee right in front of you, you can't miss this one. Before he discovered painting, the king. So moving on to new growth. Uh, there's only one story page in this chapter, and this is right at the beginning. You want to jump down, and to the left, you can't miss it. It's on the wall that you're going to have to be climbing up anyway. As the city so there it is. Just spray your water onto the wall and get it. Moving on to the palace, there's one in this chapter. And normally you'd have to go through that door to progress through the level, but instead go on the maze and head to the back wall. And there is the page on the wall, which that's one of the ones that you could miss whilst playing through the game. Unlike his nice so there we go. So moving on to the C. I know it says C wall there, but on the main menu when you go to chapter select, it's called the C. Uh, so right at the beginning, just turn left. And there it is, just the after the uh, after the balloon, as you saw there. The second one is just before you climb up the pipe to the left. Um, it's right in front of you. Can't miss it. Slowly bearing the king and his city. Moving on to the, the bell tower. There are two in this part, and again, as you can see here, right at the beginning is our first one. Again, you're going to be climbing up this wall with the vine, so can't miss that one. Next one, you're going to be outside the tower, climbing up uh, to get to the top, and up the first ramp is the story page on the floor. So moving on to chapter 3, the final chapter, because there's none in um, chapter 4. Uh, you, there's two in the river. Uh, the first one, you'll be getting to this little section where you got to uh, move the ball along, and to the right on the wall, uh, to the left, sorry, on the wall is the first the story page. And then the second story page is right at the bottom of the river. You can't miss this one. Uh, it's right there in front of you. Normally you would have to go up those uh, steps to the right to progress through the level. So you really can't miss this one. Moving on to home, there is only one in this chapter. Uh, oh, this part, sorry. Once you enter the house, uh, you want to turn right, and there is the page on the wall in front of you. And again, normally you would have to turn left and go up the steps anyway, so you really can't miss this one. On to the nursery. This is right at the beginning of the nursery. If you turn right, uh, you'll see the uh, art easel thing, and to the left of it is the story page. The second one in the nursery is right at the end of the chapter, or the part again, sorry. Uh, just before you cross the river, it's on the rock in front of you. She left. All she took was a single. 
And the final two are in the King's Monument. Uh, the first one, again, is right at the beginning of the part. Once you jump off the boat, it's right there on the rock in front of you. And then the final one of the chapter and of the game is as you're climbing up towards uh, the electrified ladder. To the right the is the final page the on the rock. Again, another one you can't really miss. So overall, they're all pretty easy to get, um, but there's only a couple in there that uh, you might miss on your playthrough. So once you've got all those, you'll get the trophy for Page Turner, which is a silver trophy, and it's to reveal every storybook page in the game. So on screen now, you're seeing some tr more trophy guys that I've done for the game. Um, so go click those if you're having trouble with getting any of them. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.